Hello everyone, my name is Andrei. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll talk about Gradio. Uh, Gradio is an um, open source uh, library uh, which uh, uh, can be used to build uh, UI. Yes, you can build UI also with Python, not only client side UI, UI with JavaScript, and uh, I'm very happy about it. And with Gradio, you could build um, uh, simple UIs uh, for uh, ML models. Uh, and this allows quite easily test these models, uh, share models with others, and uh, publish them. And uh, you could run uh, Gradio up uh, on your own uh, computer, for example, and you could um, <clears throat> uh, set the flag that you want to share um, this application with others, and then you'll get external um, uh, host, basically a, like a proxy, and you can uh, share it with others on uh, with other people, and they, they could access application and runs on your computer. So I find it very useful. And recently, Gradio was acquired by Hugging Face, and Hugging Face is using Gradio, for example, uh, for Hugging Face Spaces. If you, uh, if someone wants to publish um, ML model and provide UI for that ML model, they could go and into Hugging Face Spaces, and with uh, Gradio, they could uh, build simple UI, which will be uh, hosted on Hugging Face uh, website and available to anyone, which is um, quite awesome. And ourselves, we are also building an um, uh, example for Hugging Face Spaces for tabular data. Uh, so we would like to build a Gradio application which accepts uh, like a CSV file, for example, with um, tabular data, and there, there should be input uh, to get the query from the user. And then we would like to execute uh, Papa's model, which uh, is uh, also available on Hugging Face and execute the query and get back the answer based on the query and show it on the uh, in the response on the UI. And yeah, so let's uh, let's jump and, and see how it looks like. Okay, so this is uh, my screen and uh, here you can see uh, Gradio website and uh, it's very straightforward and uh, simple. It took me just um, probably maybe two hours or one hour and a half to go uh, through, all, through all the concepts and, and understand how it works. Uh, this is very useful uh, getting started guide and then you can go to the documentation and uh, there you'll find uh, information about all the UI components that are supported by Gradio and uh, uh, how to use them and so on. Um, <clears throat> and basically when you create Gradio application uh, you define a Gradio interface and you supply a function uh, with uh, your own function with inputs and outputs and then you do all the custom job in that function. So you would invoke the model there, uh, do some data processing, whatever you can do, do it there. And Gradio is just a UI. And uh, I should say, also, and you will see it in, in a second, basically, basically I can show it, for example, uh, example uh, on Hugging Face Spaces. This UI is built with Gradio. And uh, uh, Gradio provides uh, like um, uh, a framework for which is, uh, UI, framework, UI framework, which is uh, quite uh, simple and easy, uh, can, can be easily applied to any ML model. So you have on the left side, you have a place to input parameters uh, like this one. You can input, uh, you can provide files, for example, images, CSV files, or it can be input components, radio boxes, and so on, or it could be a data frame, tabular data, uh, just like a table, for example, or a matrix. Uh, you can collect data through the input components and send it to your custom function. Then you can have also examples so that uh, someone who is playing with your model, they don't need to uh, think how to prepare the data, how to input the data, they could just use the, the example. And then once uh, all the data is there, you could click submit button, then request goes to the server side and uh, then it's processed there. And uh, get, uh, when, once the result is constructed, is being displayed here on the right side. Um, yeah, so that's very straightforward. You on the left side you just provide inputs. On the right side you get the outputs. Also, you could specify a title, description, and um, also you can uh, have article which describes um, your application in more detail. And you can use HTML tags or markup language. Um, and this is just one line article here probably, but you can have more obviously. Right, and just let, let me uh, explain what we are doing with uh, Gradio. And this is a local application for, for now, but once it will be finished, we'll upload it to Hugging Face Spaces as well. 
and because we're coming from enterprise domain uh, for us ml is uh, in particular in interesting in in these areas where how we can apply ml for enterprise so that's uh, usually tabular data and quite interesting that uh, on hugging phase uh, you have um, a model called tapas and this model allows to process query based on tabular data and get, get back answers so that you could um, uh, if you have a table you could ask uh, uh, some question uh, about the data from the table and, and you would get the answer a specific row from the table where the answer will be. In my next videos I'll show how it works. And for now uh, just I would like to share a few my experience of building uh, UI with Gradio. So here uh, we have input component then we have a place uh, to uh, input file. This can be image or any other file like zip or CSV and the result will be on the uh, over here on the right side. And now let me also open um, JavaScript console and let's go to network. Let's clean it up and let's see how a uh, radio application works and how it communicates to the backend. And by the way, um, this is my Python development environment. And now I'm just uh, running Python up uh, uh, my local Python script and you get a uh, local host and port uh, where application is served with Flask, uh, I think, in the background. Uh, but you could um, have a flag, uh, I think, uh, here in launch. We can always check that. If you go to the docs, uh, let's see this. Uh, let me search for. Yeah, this is a shared false. Uh, yeah, under launch, this uh, uh, parameter called share. By default, it's false. If it's true, then um, you'll get. Uh, uh, URL will be generated with the uh, proxy host and you could uh, someone else from another computer could access your application from uh, that runs on your own computer. Okay, so coming back to our UI, uh, we have also examples and we have a sample query and sample CSV file. So if I click that, then user don't need to type his own question, query and provide the file. And now if I click uh, submit, uh, for the moment nothing happens. The function is empty. We're not using the model yet, but we can see that uh, predict uh, call was executed to the server side. This means Gradio makes a call uh, from UI to the server side where the function uh, will be executed and the model will be invoked. And what is, what is uh, quite uh, nice about Gradio that it doesn't make uh, server calls just on uh, any um, UI interaction, for example, <coughs> when I um, uh, cleared and uh, yeah. if if I just select example, then there's no call to the server. It uh, happens um, on the client side. That's nice. And if I click clear button and so on. So if I click submit, then this uh, request goes to the server side, a response come back and we will see uh, the results over here. And you can have a screenshot if uh, you would like uh, to share uh, this result with someone else and so on. There's another option. To, you can have a flag button uh, and if someone thinks that um, output is incorrect or so on, they can click flag button and uh, this output will be locked uh, on, on uh, a Gradio server side uh, in the log file so you could uh, review that later. Okay, and yeah, so if you want to get started with Gradio, I recommend to go to the website, check the get started guide and docs. It's extremely simple and straightforward. And just if you look into the uh, source code of the uh, UI that I was showing you a moment ago, uh, it's not yet on the GitHub, but once uh, the code will be finished, I'll push it to the GitHub and probably in the next video or so, I'll share the URL uh, on the GitHub. And uh, the main thing is uh, up um, uh, Python file, the main entry file, uh, we define a radio interface here and we launch the application and we uh, point to the function execute query. This is our function that comes from another uh, script. And this is completely a custom function, which uh, defines uh, two inputs, query, string, and file. And when we do, we click submit, we print uh, information about this file and we get it, we get actually a file on the server side. We can access it. Uh, for example, this is the tabular data, so we can uh, use uh, um, pandas data frame uh, play with the data, send it to the model, and so on. Uh, and as a result, he, uh, at this moment, we, we send back the JSON. For example. We could send uh, data frame as the result, and the table will be displayed if you want. 
Okay, so uh, interface is defined to call a function where all the custom job will be done. Then we have inputs and outputs. So input uh, automatically translates to what uh, you see on uh, UI. We have two inputs, text and file. And this is what we see on UI. And there's no extra job from, from you. It just uh, Gradio handles that and it renders UI. And for examples, there's another parameter called examples. And we uh, provide here text. And, um, uh, and we provide a file name. And based on the input types, because we have a text and file, examples will be treated accordingly. So the first one will be string, the second one will be uh, treated like a file, and it will try to locate file on uh, server side. And this is the file over here on the same uh, root directory as um, uh, app uh, script, and uh, this file will be referenced and loaded. Okay, then there's a title description, uh, default theme is defined, article, which uh, can provide longer uh, text with um, HTML scripts or markup language. And then I thought I don't want to use flagging, uh, and you can disable uh, flagging with this allow flagging false parameter. And this uh, option to enable queue, which is should be set to true, especially if you, you deploy it on hugging face uh, spaces, uh, 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 portal or website because there you may have uh, many concurrent users access, accessing your application. So you want to queue um, the load uh, to make sure that application is not overloaded. Okay, and so this is it. And uh, hopefully, uh, my point was to explain uh, to you how you could actually use Gradio from someone like me who just uh, uh, didn't have any experience before with Gradio, and I, I took probably uh, it took me one hour and a half or two to go through the documentation and start building UI uh, for uh, ML model, which I could publish on Hugging Face Spaces, and uh, hopefully this model will become uh, famous. So thanks for watching, and um, see you next time. Bye.